Welcome back to Mystic Intuition. This is going to be a twin flame reading for mid-November 2019. Keep in mind, however, time is fluent. So whenever you view this, you will hear the message. If it does not resonate for you, you can try checking the soulmate reading to see if there's any messages there for you or just your um, sign-specific readings that I put out. You can find the upload schedule in the description box below. All right. So a card for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. I'll try my best to get them more in view. So for the masculine, we have expression. And for the divine feminine, we have enchantment. Keep in mind, energies can be interchangeable. So you very well could come through for your divine feminine as the divine masculine or vice versa. Just take it how it resonates for your situation. We have the eight of pentacles. The high priestess. The three of pentacles. The Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. How fitting, right? The Four of Wands, uh, also known as the 1111 card, can be significant to um, a twin flame connection. It can um, represent marriage, commitment. Um, it's a very spiritual card. It's a very beautiful card. Um, but that's what's creating our little reading here. So let's see what else we have here. So for the Divine Masculine, his energy's up here. We have expression. So at this time, he may need to work on expressing his emotions or expressing himself to the Divine Feminine. She may not be aware of how he feels or where he stands within this connection. Again, if, it just, if, it's, if it's the opposite, just reverse it for your situation. But I'm going to read the Masculine up here. In his thoughts regarding the connection... Um, he feels like he wants to, he's, his thoughts are that he wants to put effort into this connection. He wants to work on this pentacle, right? This is the eight of pentacles. This is about putting in all of your work. It's about working hard and then standing back and looking at what you've built, right? Um, so he's, well, he's wanting to put the work in. He's wanting to put the work on this connection. With the high priestess here... Um, this is um, Pisces energy with the high priestess in his heart space. What he desires, I feel as though he's he's beginning to awaken to this connection. His intuition has been leading him. Um, with the three of pentacles, earth energy as well, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. With the three of pentacles in his actions and intentions, He's wanting to put the work in. He's wanting to build. He's wanting to grow with this divine feminine. So he may be needing to express himself regarding this. He may need to express his desires, his wishes to the divine feminine. For the divine feminine, we have enchantment. So she may be very captivating at this time. She might be very alluring to her masculine. Um, or she may see him in this light. It's just kind of like a pool, very magnetic kind of person. In her thoughts, we have the Three of Cups. She wants a reconciliation. She wants a celebration with this masculine. That's what she's thinking of. He's thinking of building the connection, and she's thinking about reconciling this connection. They're both mirroring one another here. <clears throat> In her heart space, we have the Page of Swords. Oh, this is um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Here we have the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. With a page of swords, you know, she could be watching her masculine, of course. Uh, but in her heart space, what she desires is she desires truth. She desires honesty, truthful communication. She wants to know where her masculine stands. She may not be aware of his feelings toward her. And he needs to express that to her. With the seven of pentacles in her actions and intentions, she's waiting for the right time. She's waiting for things to come together. She's wanting this to grow, to flourish, but she knows at this time that she has to wait. And she may have been waiting for quite some time. What additional messages and clarity and guidance can you bring us through? What additional messages for Twin Flames for the last half of November 2019? What messages and guidance do you have, Spirit, for Twin Flames? The Eight of Cups, Water Energy, the Seven of Wands, and the Star. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. This can indicate a victory. 
success, moving forward. Someone, we do have two threes here. This could be a third party situation for some of you. So someone may have to walk away from something else or walk away from the energy of not expressing themselves, of keeping things themselves guarded and open up, up a connection, what they really truly feel. With the seven of wands, we have somebody who's a little bit defensive about this connection. You know, if the feminine is coming and approaching this masculine looking for clarity and insight, he may intuitively know and feel and sense this divine connection, but he may be a little defensive about it. Or she may be defensive about it if she feels she's not getting truth and honesty from this masculine. If this masculine or vice versa hasn't walked away from something in order to build and to grow and to work on the connection, to reconcile. With a star here, this is about a wish fulfillment. It's a, it's a healing energy. It can also indicate twin flame reunion. So, you know, a victory very well could be on the horizon. We have the four of wands and the six of wands. This is about a powerful connection, a spiritual connection. It's a divine card, right? Um, and then we have a card about victory, success. So twin flames. Um, I'm going to close with a couple of messages here that I was guided to put together for you. I'm just going to grab two messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. I need your light. I can't be who you need right now. And two messages, Spirit, from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. There we go. My career is what I have to focus on now. You are my safe place. So the Divine Feminine could be focusing on her finances, her career, her stability at this time. But she feels safe in the presence and within the connection that she has with the Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine is saying that she's the Divine Feminine brings light and hope into his life. But at this time... For whatever reason, it's not quite time for him to walk away or to express himself. He's working on something. He could be going through a karmic cycle at this time. Whatever the case, he knows the Divine Feminine brings this hope, this positivity into his life. And he is working on it. He's working on this so that they can reconcile and be together. So Twin Flames, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I thank you so very much for watching. Bye-bye.